Joanne Woodward gets us underway back in league action. We're back in Chesham facing Aylesbury once again at their um, shared ground here in Chesham. Last time these two met was only about six weeks ago in the FA Trophy. Bedford came away the uh, happier of the two sides, winning that one 3-2. In much warmer weather it has to be said, but 0-0 um, currently in this one. The game underway, Bedford look for another three points. Tamplin then puts a cross in for the Ducks, back of the box. He's on his own at the moment, the Aylesbury man. Edge of the area now. A lot of room for Aylesbury here inside these opening couple of minutes. First corner of the game then. Swung in by Aylesbury. Middle of the box. Chance here for the Ducks. Shot comes in. It's blocked well. Great defending there by Lewis Green. Perhaps did a bit of damage in the process. Second corner of the game then. It's to the home side. Floated into the back post, head on it. He is over the bar in the end, but uh, positive start this for Aylesbury. Good ball this then, Bedford. First time down there, uh, Aylesbury final third. Took a deflection off the keeper. Runs for a corner to Bedford Town now. Well, corner then from the far side, taken by Watkins. Popped in, keeper fists it away. <laughs> Runs out for a throw in. Then Linton Goss is the only man forward here. Let's take his man on. Bodies arriving for Bedford, goes it alone, keeper can't hold it. Comes out to Walsh. Here's Bedford's latest sign and then hands up Balogun, floats one in. Doesn't find a blue shirt. Oh my god, Linton Goss has absolutely skinned his man here. Beat him for pace. Shot comes in. Good bit of lark stitch defending there from Aylesbury. Can't prevent a corner. Corners of Bedford then. It's Watkins who takes it once again, then pops it in to the uh, edge of the six yard box. It's up in the air. Keeper claims it on this occasion. Cross from the deep from Aylesbury, then back of the box, head on goal. Mark Smith who gets down low to save it, tips it round the post. Corner to Aylesbury now, then this game pretty end to end in the opening 10 minutes. Corner played in then from the Ducks, back post once again. Headed out this time by Bedford. Aylesbury still in possession though, looks to get a cross in, comes off the blue shirt, and it's Watkins who gets it away. Well, Tamplin comes forward inside the Bedford box, a left foot cross was not far away from the back post. Had someone have been there, that would have broken the scoring. Blake's ball into Watkins, then outside of the box, pops it out to Walsh, then chance for Bedford. Over the bar from Lewis Walsh, score remains nil-nil. The ball over the top, here looks at Tamplin, who goes down in the box. All eyes on the referee, who says no, not interested in that one. Bedford then, just seeing a little bit more of the ball now, looking a little bit more confident in possession. Here's Dahi. Bedford fortunate, regain possession there. Walsh pops the ball through. Blimey. Aylesbury then, maybe a chance to break here, looks for Tamplin. Good challenge there by Shane Bush, wins the ball, wins possession back for Bedford. This game opening up slightly now. Walsh not quite got the pace for that, but... Uh, a good game this. Aylesbury then, skipping through here, inside the Bedford box. Bedford, good shout for handball there. Nothing doing. Bedford come away with the ball now in this game. Uh, 20 minutes in, he's getting pretty end-to-end. -end. Possession given away, there's a few wayward passes going on for Bedford Town at the moment. Tamplin comes forward here, Bedford will be keen to tackle. That one, however, wide of the mark from distance, still nil-nil. Dahi with room, finds a good looking ball out wide with what uh, Sport couldn't quite keep it under control. There's a few sloppy moves here from Bedford. Well, a free kick then to Aylesbury. Pretty dangerous area. Floated in, dipping on its way down, but a little too much on it. Remains 0-0. Here's Walsh then as half-time approaches. Watkins takes a shot, stinging effort. Dealt with by the Ducks defence. questions being asked of the referee and officials at the moment. Um, referee letting a lot go. Square ball played here then, shot from distance left footed, takes a little bobble but uh, comfortable enough for Smith. Well there you go, there's the front, sun threatens to come out then, it's um, well half time break, 45 minutes played here in Shesham then. It's been a game of, um, well not an awful lot really, the highlights won't take too long to edit this first half it's been that mostly sloppy from Bedford Town going in at the break then both teams equal Bedford Town nil Aylesbury United nil
this is underway then for the second half. The second half that um, probably needs a little bit of improvement. If Bedford want anything from this game, Aylesbury will of course be hungry for a goal, seeking revenge after uh, the last time these two met. Second half though is yet to be played out. We're underway now. With Walsh. Oh, Lewis Walsh with an early effort in the second half. Took a deflection on its way out, goes for a corner ball. Oh, the corner's played in then. Bush was rising, keeper arrived first, and Aylesbury get it away by the Bedford defence into Blake, who's had a reasonably quiet game thus far. Steams forward now, then Ryan Blake still in possession inside the Aylesbury box, chips it in! Wasn't a bad effort, keeper did well to keep it out. Corner from the far side then, it's to Aylesbury, played in. Keeper arrives first, punches out, so a uh, ambitious effort there, just on the edge of the box, over the bar in the end. Bedford come forward now in this game, still not hugely exciting, but a free kick to Bedford Town here, just outside the area, blows her whistle, and Ben Walster pops it into the back post, Walsh rises, appeals for handball, that's making its way through on goal, but um, goalkeeper got an important touch on it. Corner taken then from Walster's left foot, played in, edge of the six yard box, it's Aylesbury defence who rise first, clear it only as far as Lewis Walsh, it's a dangerous ball in, Collard goes to ground but uh, the appeals are reasonably light. Cross or long full forward here then, keeper rises, plucks it out the air, still nil nil. Well. Second change of the game, it's for Bedford, Benjamin Spall makes way, it's Harry Crawford, his replacement. Free kick to Aylesbury then, then it's a reasonably dangerous area, it's uh, lofted in, back of the box, chance for the home side here. Whistle's blown, an offside is given, but another scare for Bedford there. Still nil-nil, and uh, <coughs> the move comes to nothing in the end, not an awful lot happening in this second half. Bit of a theme in the first half as well as the ball comes out, back into view now, Bush gets an important foot in, towards the halfway line now with Aylesbury, long searching ball forward here, control isn't good and it's a bit sloppy from both sides now, far side with Walsh then this game, could need a goal but again, there we go, please the Aylesbury fans that one, they're on the break now, come forward with Tamplin, that's an important challenge, Good defending from both sides there. Still with Aylesbury, Darhi gets a toe in. Doesn't win the ball, however. Room for the Ducks now, finding a bit of rhythm, a bit of momentum as they come forward. To the edge of the box, chipped off the chest of the Bedford right back, goes for a corner. Corner played in them from the pile of autumn leaves in that far corner. Head on, it is a decent one. The follow up is blocked off the line. And that's chance of the game. Bedford perhaps a little bit fortunate to survive that one. It finds Goss. Anyone arriving? Walsh is arriving. Blake's on the overlap. Drilled in. Dangerous area! Oh, and it's off the bar! Danger not over for Aylesbury yet, but chances at both ends in quick succession there. The score remains nil-nil, but we're with Blake now. Ball in isn't altogether convincing. Scrappy play as Aylesbury come away with the ball this game getting a little bit more open and the tempo slightly increasing as the ball played into the box now it's uh, easy enough for Bedford to cut out. Aylesbury come forward now then back down the other end this game showing signs of life which for last parts has been flat that clearance is a little bit uh, a little bit squeaky from Collard, but um, runs out for a corner. And there's a substitution, then Linton Goss makes way. Green is on, first job to defend the corner. It's um, a pretty dangerous one as well. Dahi comes away with the ball. Here's Collard to Walster. Final stages of this game now are with us. Bedford, come forward, everyone inside the Aylesbury half. Chipped forward, light appeals for handball, keeper comes, claims it, still nil-nil. Played out wide now with uh, Hamzat Balagan, who does well. Do with a bit of support here, cross comes in, 
Dangerous area. Who did that come off? The Aylesbury man. Well, these sort of last chance saloon territory here. As uh, the minutes tick down. Corner taken, pinged in. Sails wide of the mark. Still nil nil. There's Dahi then. Either side in with a chance of winning this as we enter stoppage time. Of which there will be six minutes. We're a minute or so inside those six. It's Bedford come forward here. Well, that's a free kick. Referee counts the yards then. Deep into stoppage time now. The free kick is played in towards the back post. Head on into the middle. Blake brings it down. Blocked well. Aylesbury come away with the ball. Now they have left three men forward here. And we want to get this forward as quickly as they can. Bedford will want to defend. Boys, Do so. Here's Bush still forward from the set piece. Look, it was played high. Challenge is on here. Dahi scoops the ball around, but it's Aylesbury who take over now. It's a hefty weighted pass here, but it's into Watkins' feet and sprays it out wide to Walsh. Edge of the Aylesbury box. Two men to get by. Still the ball at his feet. Chips it in delicately towards the back post. Crawford brings it down. There's a hush of silence comes around the ground. Shot comes in. Keeper does well to get down and save it, but um, again, not overly threatening. Still nil nil. As Aylesbury come forward, a bit of a tangle of legs here. Take it. The referee lets it all go. Here's Crawford down the other end. Pops into the near post, goes for a corner. Oh, what a threat of rain, we're inside the final minutes. Cleared, referee, seen enough of this one. Who won't be altogether popular with the Aylesbury fans. They may feel a bit hard done by by some of the decisions from the officials this afternoon, but it won't matter now. 90 minutes has been played and it has finished nil nil this afternoon here in Chesham against Aylesbury United. A game that's been sloppy in large patches from both sides, to be honest. Aylesbury have dug in deep and they have defended well from all of Bedford's advances. It's probably Bedford that have um, had most of the chances, if we're being honest. Final score then here in Chesham, it is Aylesbury United nil, Bedford Town nil. Well, there we go, 90 minutes played here in uh, Chesham against Aylesbury United. It's Halloween weekend, a few scares for Bedford in that. And some, um, well, if we're being honest, a few shocking... Yeah, it wasn't great, was it? It wasn't, it wasn't altogether um, liquid football, we'll say. <laughs> liquid football. Um, yeah, well, nil nil. It's not the end of the world, still undefeated. We march on to the next one, which is, of course, Dunstable. Dunstable at home next week. Yeah, it's been frustrating at times today. Simple football, I think, for Bedford hasn't come off, but I don't know. I don't know who will be the happier of the two sides there. Probably Aylesbury, I should imagine. Um, well, there we go. Weather is getting dark now. It's getting cold as well. Last, last time we were here, Lazza did this. There we go, quite a contrast now as the floodlights are not on but it is getting dark and it is getting chilly. The winter months are setting in, the hard work begins now and um, we will see you at home at the Erie in the next one.